Welcome to our webinar, Understanding the Grinding of Surgical Drills, Burrs, Reamers, Taps, and Other Orthopedic Cutting Instruments. Our speaker is Eric Schwarzenbach, President of Rollomatic Inc. Rollomatic is a private Swiss company specializing in the design and manufacturing of high-precision CNC machines for production grinding of cutting tools, cylindrical grinding, and laser cutting of ultra-hard materials. A customer-oriented company, Rollomatic provides complete manufacturing solutions for the grinding of precision tools and parts. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for the opportunity to present this webinar to you. The webinar deals with manufacturing of surgical cutting tools in stainless tool steel and high-speed steel. It's addressed to contract manufacturers as well as OEMs. We will be showing a six axis tool grinding machine, GrindSmart 630 XS or XW, which is the primary piece of equipment used for grinding the cutting geometry on surgical cutting tools. We will also present a peel grinding machine, ShapeSmart, which is used for grinding quick disconnect attachments and blank preparations of long and thin blanks. Another common purpose in peel grinding is grinding core pins for injection molding. Rollomatic is a privately held Swiss company specializing in the design and manufacturing of high precision CNC machines for the production grinding of cutting tools, cylindrical grinding and laser cutting of ultra hard materials, all for the industrial and medical applications. We employ lean manufacturing assembly principles. The headquarters for the North American market is in Mandalay, Illinois, north of Chicago, where we have a fully equipped showroom. We have support offices and a fairly large warehouse uh, filled with uh, machines and, and many spare parts. The Rollomatic GrindSmart 6-axis tool grinders can cover surgical drills and reamers from around one millimeter to 30 millimeter diameter, including step drills, step reamers, and also cranial perforators. Here you see the inside of a GrindSmart 630 XS or XW. You see the part is held and driven in a collet. The V block, uh, also known as the shank guidance, is situated right in front of the collet and is pushed, it's pushing the shank into a V block with a pressure finger. The steady rest is what is moving up and down. It supports the drill with a half round support on the drill margin. The regular models use wheel arbors that are stacked with multiple wheels. The models with wheel changers use single wheel mounts in this movie clip, we are grinding the flute, the outside diameter, the clearance, and the point. The cutting geometry on orthopedic burrs between diameter 0.5 millimeter and 24 millimeter can be ground on a grind smart series machines with either one wheel or with two separate wheels. The software can handle all known shapes in the medical and industrial deburring industry, such as spherical ball, acorn, pear, oval, taper, barrel, flame, and more. All burrs can be produced with, with or without crosscut, which is also known as a chip breaker. Any number of teeth can be programmed, in particular, the sectioning in front of the medical burrs have a distinctive feature whereby two opposing teeth, like I'm showing here, are meeting each other in the center. This is very typical for orthopedic burrs. Here is a miniature burr in a special burr fixture for increased uh, stability and higher feed rates and lower cycle times. And you can see here the movement the wheel makes uh, around the ball burr. This is a ball 
ball bearer with a back ball. So he comes in from the front, moves up the radius, goes behind, and repeats this as 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 many times as number of flutes there are. Another common surgical cutting tool is a shaver blade, which can be ground on the Grind Smart series machines. We can produce both the rotating inner as well as the stationary outer tube. Any tooth formation can be programmed such as straight flutes, sheared flutes, and helical. For grinding bone saws or bone saw blades, we use a clamping fixture which is custom designed for each type of blade. The six axis configuration of the machine and our software allow any type of tooth configuration to be ground. As you can see in this video clip, in addition to the rear clamping, which is also the uh, device that indexes the blade, there are two side clamping jaws that act like a vise to position and hold the blade in the fixture. The blades can be indexed to perform the gash of the tooth configuration on the opposing side. So we have a single tooth wheel here. We have another wheel for the, uh, for the gash. It's also known as the dub sometimes um, to produce the uh, exact saw blade geometry that the uh, manufacturer wants. For automation, the standard two axis loader, which is um, part of the uh, basic machine can easily be adapted to pull the blades out of the cassette and move them into the grinding area where the loader exchanges a ground blade with a blank blade in a single stroke. Here we're looking at surgical rasps. They're mainly 400 stainless and they're used to file or shape a bone or cartilage or for bone correction, hump removal and other orthopedic procedures. Rollomatic has software programs to accommodate these types of rasps. The six axis concept of our grinding machines is unique in the grinding industry. Cutting geometries in orthopedic tools vary broadly and there's no common approach unlike in industrial cutting tools like end mills or drills in terms of design and application. For grinding orthopedic cutting tools, the six axis configuration provides the necessary flexibility in programming and for cost-effective grinding. The demand for flexibility when grinding surgical tools is much higher than, in, than it is for industrial tools. Due to the comp competitive nature of the business producing these tools, rapid setups, short cycle times and extended wheel life are crucial. Since most surgical tools are small in diameter and long in length, their straightness is not always guaranteed. In addition, heat treatment of these instruments induces warping, which often has to be corrected manually before grinding. Therefore, the way the blank is held in a CNC grinder is of utmost importance. Since the parts are bent, so-called so bent, it is best to hold them short in a collet system, which acts as a driver. Then a V-block with a pressure finger will force the part into a V-holder and will give some guarantee of concentricity. But in addition, a steady rest must support the part of the blank which is being ground. In other words, if it's a drill, we still have a, uh, a steady rest underneath the portion where we grind. So it's an excellent solution to, to use half round steadies. Um, so the blank can be positively seated inside the half round. This ensures good geometry and allows increased feed rates. Vibrations typically caused by the grinding process are reduced and they prolong wheel life. Options for softer materials with lower hardness are V-blocks in PCD, 
which is uh, basically industrial diamond, which uh, um, does not mangle or scar the soft steel, which a carbide or a steel support would do. We also use three point rollers. Uh, the pressure is applied by rollers rather than flat surfaces. And we can also use brass V blocks in order to avoid uh, scoring the um, material. For grinding stainless steel and HSS steel, super abrasive wheels are used, known as CBN wheels. CBN stands for cubic boron nitride and is produced by treating hexa hexagonal boron nitride at high temperature and pressure, much as synthetic diamond is produced from graphite. There are several types of CBN wheels in use. They differ in the way they are bonded together. The more common type is, is a resin or metal bond where the CBN particles are baked into a bonding matrix, similar to baking a cake with raisins, basically. Another type are the electroplated CBN wheels, which have a single layer of chemically attached CBN particles on a steel body. How does a tool grinder handle medical grips? The medical grip is the quick connect feature at the end of the tool and the surgeon takes the, the tool and clicks it into his handpiece or her handpiece. Quick disconnect features on the shank end of orthopedic cutting tools are often larger than the shank on the cutting geometry. So we have a problem clamping. Problematic offer special clamping systems suitable to accommodate such parts in a tool grinder. The most common method is using an overgrip collet, which is also referred to as an over the shoulder collet. Here we're looking at a uh, pinch and peel grinding machine. This is a, basically a cylindrical grinder, which has a number of different wheels that interact on the part, either simultaneously or separately. So here you can see a, a medical shank end being ground. Um, up to four different wheels can be accommodated and used to grind flats or notches or half rounds or corner radii as needed for a medical shank. And most OEMs make their shanks differently to differentiate from one another and they have all specific patented uh, shank ends. This is a core pin, um, which is an extended or male portion of the mold, which creates the in internal surfaces used in plastic injection molding, um, mainly in the medical industry. This particular core pin is used for injection molding, medical pipettes used in fluid sampling, such as DNA, and also maybe uh, for COVID uh, vaccine developments. These core pins are ground on a Rollomatic Shape Smart, Shape Smart MP50 pinch and peel grinder. And the roughing and finishing um, grinding are performed in one pass with simultaneous engagement of both wheels. Both wheels act on the wheel from left to right simultaneously. There's no deflection in this type of process. Therefore, long and thin parts can be ground with, partic with particularly no TIR, no uh, total indicator reading. In other words, no run out. This innovative way to grind roughing and finishing simultaneously eliminates a separate process and reduces cycle times. The machine utilizes two different grinding wheels running on separate spindles and positioned on independently controlled CNC linear slides. Pinch grinding offers the highest concentricity, particularly on long and thin, and I may add here weak uh, parts as in stainless steel. Uh, we can also blank prep um, on medical drills. That's a, a process where you prepare the blank that later becomes a drill or a burr. And um, this is often turned on a lathe, but if it's ground or has to be ground for, for whatever reason, we have the solution here. 
um, with our pinch and peel grinder. You can see here a Rollomatic Shape Smart MP50 machine uh, grinding a long and thin medical part uh, or a blank in stainless or HSS. And in the process for core pins, the roughing wheel engages simultaneously with the finished wheel and the part is ground in one pass and one clamping. Again, we have two wheels interacting from left to right. So that's, that's why it's called pinch um, grinding. And this really offers the highest concentricity uh, on long and thin parts. Thank you all that watched uh, for your attention. Thank you. Thank you to Eric and thank you to those watching. To learn more about Rollomatic, visit rollomaticusa.com or contact them via the link on the session homepage. To access more sessions on orthopedic manufacturing, trends, and innovation, visit omtechexpo.com.